Mr. President, I want to state my strong support of the Economic Recovery Plan because the American people and their communities needed to create jobs and to stabilize the economy and protect those who have been most hurt by the current global economic and financial crises. My fellow Americans, especially my fellow Vermonters, who watch this process, they, they look at the resistance the recovery, economic recovery plans met from many on the other side of the aisle, and they're somewhat dispirited. They remember how readily Congress rubber-stamped hundreds of billions of dollars that the previous administration earmarked for Iraq. And then they see how difficult it has been to get bipartisan approval of investments here at home. They're desperately needed to jumpstart our economy in the midst of the worst economic crisis we face since the Great Depression. I would call on my fellow senators who are willing and eager to vote for billions of dollars to rebuild the infrastructure of Iraq, who are willing to vote for billions of dollars to create jobs in Iraq, who are willing to vote for billions of dollars to help law enforcement in Iraq come home. Let's spend some of that money in America to repair our infrastructure, to create jobs in America, to help law enforcement in America. No one disputes the clear fact that we're confronting the most severe economic problem we've had in generations. The U.S. economy has been in recessions since December 2007. America's GDP declined 3.8% in the fourth quarter of 2008, the steepest drop since 1982. The United States lost 2.6 million jobs last year, the most since 1945. And last week, we learned the U.S. economy shed almost 600,000 jobs in January, putting the unemployment rate at 7.6. In my home state of Vermont, not only is the amount of credit available to small businesses shrunk significantly, but our unemployment jumped to 6.4 percent in December. That's the highest it's been in 15 years. And Vermont's not alone in the struggle. Workers businesses, state and local governments all across the country face mounting debt, slumping orders, sagging budgets. To respond to the extraordinary crisis, I agree with President Obama and the vast majority of Americans, we have to act quickly and responsibly to pass economic recovery and job creation. A job creation plan as bold as the challenges we face. Americans want jobs. They want to be able to go to work. They want to be able to support their families. We have to help create those jobs. We act now to strengthen our economy and invest in America's future. We can create good paying jobs. We can cut taxes for working families. We can make responsible investments in our future. Our number one priority should be to put America back to work. This economic recovery plan will help create or save millions of jobs, including an entire generation of green jobs that will make public and private investments in renewable energy make America more energy efficient. We want to invest in our country's infrastructure and education, do more than create jobs today, can put us on a long-term path toward prosperity, rebuild our roads and bridges, expand broadband access to rural communities, make our energy grid smart and more efficient, create state-of-the-art classrooms and labs and libraries. Invest in job training that Americans will need to succeed in the 21st century economy, global economy. Give us tangible assets we can use for years to continue economic growth. And as chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, I'd like to highlight that the funding for state and local law enforcement in this recovery package not only helped to address vital crime prevention needs, it's going to have an immediate and positive impact on the economy. As police chiefs and experts from across the country told the Judiciary Committee in our first hearing this year, hiring new police officers will stimulate the economy, but it'll also lead to communities and neighborhoods that are now suffering rise in crime, but let them be safer communities and neighborhoods. Now, nobody thinks this bill is perfect. And we could write a hundred different 
perfect bills based on our own analyses. But in the meantime, America is hurting. And Americans urgently need our help. This economic recovery package will make a timely and constructive difference across the country. It'll create jobs. It'll save jobs. It'll make investments in our roads and our bridges. It'll reduce the tax burden on struggling families. And it'll reduce the strain on our state budget deficits. Vermonters are watching and waiting. Working families across the country are watching and waiting. Time is running out. I will vote aye.